man in Rhode Island has some pretty controversial ideas about yoga pants. Last week, Alan Sorrentino wrote a letter to his local paper complaining about women over the age of 20 wearing yoga pants in public. He called the apparel the absolute worst thing to ever happen in women fashion. <laughs> Adding, not since the miniskirt has there been something worn by so many women who should never have it on in the first place. Do yourself a favor, he said, and stop wearing them in public. He concluded, I struggle with my own physicality as I age. I don't want to struggle with yours. <laughs> <laughs> there was a bit of a backlash. On Sunday, hundreds of people walked by his house as part of a yoga pants parade. The organizer, Jamie Patrice, said the parade wasn't to attack Sorrentino, but to protest the constant criticism of women's bodies. She noted, I want women of all ages, shapes, and sizes to know that it is okay to wear whatever makes them feel comfortable. Hmm. Kennedy, is it okay for women to wear whatever makes them feel yeah, comfortable? Yeah, baby, whatever. I think this guy's brilliant. I think Andy was on to something at the top of the show. Yes. I think uh, that this was reverse psychology. Mm. and Or, you know, some sort of sleight of hand or sleight of pants. So he says, like, I hate women in tight, butt-hugging yoga pants. Please don't ever wear them. Here's my address in case you guys want to organize like, a big parade protest and walk by my house with an accordion and young girls with bulbous bottoms. They did. They had accordions. They had musical instruments. Yeah. And uh, a woman had, I like my pants taped on the back of her shirt. Yeah. I'm going to do that next week. Uh, look, uh, Cotter, I think we all yes. want women to march around in yoga pants at all times. Uh, Kennedy may be onto something. She is onto something. And I clearly cannot throw stones at someone for wearing something good. Goofy. But I, uh, I'm from Rhode Island, but I'm all right now. This is where this happened. And uh, my thing is, people don't realize this. On the eighth day, God created the yoga pants. And I'm a big fan. God bless them. Where some women, though, though, should wear them under a burqa. I'm well, not saying who, some. That's the thing. I mean, we, we do love the yoga pants. He was saying, this guy says he actually owns. Yoga pants. Oh, he freaking. has them, but he says he wouldn't wear them out to the grocery store. Thank God. Uh, yeah, but he he said the, that it was meant to be in jest. Did you get the joke when you read his article? He said he was supposed to be kind of he was supposed to be generating laughs. No, no, there was nothing <laughs> funny about that. No, really. No. Uh, well, Dustin, what do you think? Should men comment at all on? I don't think you should go there at all anymore. Yeah, I don't think so. I think uh, I don't understand why people didn't protest Chris Christie wearing those baseball pants. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they had. There might have terrifying. been a. I remember that. Was it that bad? Do we have a photo? Of, oh, look at that! Oh, oh my! Yeah. Wow! Even camels are cringing. On that well, look. <laughs> yeah. He's got no He's balls bad. on him. I can tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna march right now. It's horrible. I think was, they call that a fupa. Giano, look, I think these, these, these women have a right to wear the yoga pants wherever they want. I think the guy was just having fun. I think they were a little too sensitive. Yeah, you know what? I'm sure after he saw the parade, he put a hold on the letter to the men that wear bicycle shorts, right? <laughs> so we put that out, right? So uh, well, He said that. Did you see in the end of the letter? He said, uh, you know, this would be like if I wore a Speedo to the, uh, you know, the gas station, which would be gross. He said it would I'm be sure, gross if men did I'm sure that they're, that's next. That's the next parade that's coming by us house. But body shaming, inappropriate in any, any form. For example, I have big muscles. Yeah, a do. woman shamed me into having them. She should apologize now, right? Can yeah, you? yeah. I thought you were a trainer. <laughs> I am. Yeah, I thought this Project 21 was like, how many repetitions can you do? But wait, Gianna, you keep yourself in, in, uh, in, in nice condition, mm -hmm. probably because at some point, why? Did you say you were out of shape at one time? No, 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 no. So were a you young like lady Christine? said, I should work out. I should get in the gym, yes. right? So I got in the gym. Stayed off the drugs, yeah. right? Maybe I should get on. I don't know. I'm just kidding. But, but, but look, it's the <laughs> idea is that I think Gianna was saying shame works. That's what I think. <laughs> yeah, I Dustin? mean, I think a Speedo is fine if you're going swimming. The same with the yoga pants. I mean, do you, are they really that comfortable? They're kind of tight. I don't think women wear them out of comfort. They, so if you're wearing them, they, they go to look, yoga. They look, they really look comfortable to me yeah. when they're a out shopping. A lot of yoga pants have never been to yoga. That's, that's all I'm exactly. saying. Exactly. I mean, you see women with spandex of, pants going to the grocery store all the time. I think that's yeah. the idea. I don't you have know a what? problem with it. I really don't. Kennedy, I, I don't have a problem with it at all. But don't you think, I think no they're problem, wearing Tom. them to the store because they want other people to think that they're on their way to class, right? Yeah, they have like a mask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's what it is. I mean, you dress yeah. for the job you want, not the one you have. Exactly. All right, moving on.